Hey guys, Papa Pete back again today with another special Christmas edition of Old Guys and Old Games. Going to be playing another one of these homebrew Christmas games, and that is from Carlos Madruga. It's a little bit different. You may not be aware of this one, like Christmas Carol was a full-scale Christmas game. This is actually a code within Carlos's game, Heli. And you can enter a special code to get a Christmas version of the game, which I like to call Santa Heli. I suppose I could call it Heliclaws too, but anyway, it's a fantastic game that you just get into uh, via the code. Of course, I did Heli uh, back uh, quite a while ago on the Inti Homebrew Spotlight, so you can go back and take a look at uh, that episode. It'll tell you all about the game. I talk about the Christmas version in there as well, as well as some other codes you can put in to get other variety in this game. Really quite a game here. Heli, available from Intellivision Revolution. It's also available, I believe, from the Intellivision Collector as a ROM download. But Carlos Madruga is a programmer, fantastic games he's made over the years, and this one's been out for a couple years now. But anyway, uh, celebrate Christmas. I don't know if I'll play this on the 23rd or the 24th, but whatever it is, this is a great game to play around Christmas. So let's go without any further ado and play some Santa Heli. Okay. Here we are. There's the Heli screen. I'm going to go right in and I'm put the code in. And you can see what it is. We'll go one, two, imagine two, five. Merry Christmas. There it is right there. So we got the Santa code in and I love the music and I love the gameplay. The gameplay is pretty much the same. Just the graphics are different. And of course, the music is wonderful. So let's play a little bit of Santa Heli. And start. Start. There we go. Love the music in this game. And of course, your bombs are now presents. And you're rescuing the reindeer. So cool. Let's see how far into it we can get. And the music's not the same every level. I don't know how many different songs there are, but... I have no idea why I died. Alright. No big deal. extra points and here we go i lost a man though i don't know how i lost a man or what what i even hit i missed it no big deal all right oh maybe it was just it was the dark blue i didn't see it Oh, that was hard to see right there, too, wasn't it? All right, here we go. What am I on? Level four. Oh. I don't know where to get down here. Turn the lights right out. Oh, that's all right. I should be able to kill him with a ball. Oh, it, oh. There we go. Not doing very good with lights here. Oh, boy, I sure am not. Oh, that's not going to work. Three presents left. Of course, when the bomb goes off, you can... Uh, Get a quick look. All right, so what we do is go way over, take the 50 points, and we get through the level. And I didn't have any bombs left, but or presents, I should say. Once again, this game, I don't know if it's out right now, uh, if it's available for purchase in, in physical copy, but. Uh, Uh, from a television revolution, it may be out of print, but they've been in and out of print a few times. This is a, one of the games that uh, it's so worth getting. It's actually, of course, the original version of it was Hero by Activision from Atari 2600. And that is one of the three games that I still need for my Activision collection. Where are we going here? Oh, I didn't want to go that way. 
Lost another man, that's okay. Oh, I can go down now, because I get to take him out too. It's just so neat, there's so much variety of stuff to see, and then to have this game as well, uh... I'll take that out and go this way, just because there's a couple extra points there. Oh, shoot. I don't know if I want to go down there or not. No, nope, that turned the light out. I'm gonna try this way. We get through it. Actually, in in uh, in the box version, uh, the physical version, well, in this game for the Intellivision, one of the other modes you can play it changes it back to look like the Atari version, which is uh, pretty neat. And then you can also set up a, a one spot where. Oh, It'll switch back and forth. It'll alternate levels because the graphics are a little bit better in this one than the... Ah, that was a good one. Okay, let's see if I can fall down here. Hmm. I have a feeling that it's that way because I want to go this way. Oh, right into the lava. That's no good. Oh, no. That's a hard way to look. Hard to get down into those spots here. Oh, well, holy cow, how do I get there? Right. I got one present left. Let me go over here. Yeah, there we go, look. There he is, I can throw it. No presents left, but we're in. I have not played this game very far into it. I believe, to be quite honest, the uh, levels are pretty much the same in the Christmas version as in the regular version. Oh, almost one man left. And that's game over, because I hit the lava. Wow, well that's... That's just a neat uh, way to play that game. Uh, fantastic. Great job by Carlos adding so many extras into this game. Um, the Christmas theme. Hey, does, you can't beat that either. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, let's go back over to the other screen right there. And I just want to say one more time, enjoy your Intellivision. Play all the Christmas games you can. And Merry Christmas to you guys, uh, all of you out there. Thank you so much for watching my videos and sharing a little bit of time with us here today. Coco's not even in the basket right now. She's out caravan. It's the middle of the day, so she's actually awake. But uh, anyway, guys, once again, thanks for a little bit of time with us here today. Merry Christmas to you all, and please have a safe and happy holiday season. You take care.